What is going on guys? Welcome back, Marco here from BlitzGuitar.com Today I want to show you how to play this Italian world beautiful, sad, emotional uh, song that I wrote a while ago. So today I want to show you how to play that um, and you're going to have the tab on the screen so if you want to follow the tab, awesome. You can also have access to the printable um, tab, okay, which is inside the membership area. So if you want to have access to extra content, more programs, and the tabs that I have on YouTube, uh, make sure that you check the membership area, become a member, you support me, support this channel, and you have access to a ton of different programs for beginner, intermediate, and advanced, okay? So make sure that you check it out. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want to keep up with all the upcoming lessons, okay? And thank you so much for watching all the videos, guys, and all the comments and feedback that I receive. So let's have a close up and let's get started. Awesome guys, so let's get started now. We're gonna have a bunch of chords, A minor, a D minor, and E major, which will be played as a triad, an E major chord, E7, and also a diminished chord, okay? At some point we're gonna have an A7, dominant seven chord. So there is a, you know, like chords are pretty basic, okay? Now, how does it work? We're gonna start with the A minor chord, okay? Uh, which is going to sound like that. And uh, I have three different notes of the melody. And I'm gonna be playing the first uh, A minor with a bar chord. Now, before I play the chord, there is a phrase, um, a little phrase before the chord, which is this one. And I'm gonna be playing this uh, phrase on the second string, fret five, okay? And I have five, six, five, four, five. And I'm always alternating with the right hand. And I uh, start with the A minor chord. So I will have the phrase. And I play the first A minor. Now the A minor chord is played with the bar chord on the fret number five. So you wanna basically press down three strings, first, second, and third, with the bar, okay? You wanna put the bar as close as possible to the fret. Don't put it on top of the fret, just close, okay? And you want to pluck simultaneously the fifth and the first string with thumb and ring, and then the second and third string simultaneously. Okay? It's three movements. It's one, two, three. Okay? Um, the second note is the first string fret seven, so I'm not going to get rid of the chord, I only change the melody. And I play the first string fret seven, okay? And I pluck exactly the same thing. So fifth and first and second and third. And then I have the first string fret eight. Okay? So it's one, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay? So the whole thing. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay? Then we're gonna change chord and I'm gonna play that. So this is a D minor chord, and as you can see, there, there is a certain similarity with the first chord we're playing. In fact, it's exactly the same shape with the same melody, okay? It's just that we're playing that as a D minor chord rather than an A minor chord. So how does it work? Once you play the A minor, you're gonna have the fifth open string, and the same phrase you just learned on the second string. So second string fret, you start with the fifth open string, and then you have the second string fret five, six, five, four, five, okay? And then really important from here, you wanna jump all the way up to the fret number 10. So the bar chord will be on the fret 10, okay? And the melody goes like this. The bass note is on the fourth string and I plug the fourth and first string simultaneously with thumb and ring. Then I have the second and third string. Okay, then the melody goes on the first string fret number 12. And then fret 13. Okay. So the D minor chord is exactly the same shape as the A minor, just up to the fret number 10. Now after the, e, uh, the D minor, we're gonna have an E major, which is going to sound like that. Okay. 
okay? So the melody is a little bit more difficult because it's more jumpy, okay? Now, we always have a phrase before the chord, and after the D minor, the phrase is going to be this one. Okay? So I'm gonna start with the fourth open string, and then I have the first string fret number 12, 13, 12, 10, and 13, okay? So it's a little bit more difficult. And I'm always alternating, yeah, with the right hand. So bass note on the fourth. And then I play the E chord. Now again, we have three notes on the melody here. And uh, you wanna put down a bar chord on the fret number nine. Still three strings, okay, so it's pretty simple. So bar chord on fret nine. And the melody starts on the first string fret number 12, okay? I plug that simultaneously with the sixth and first string, uh, the sixth string with the thumb, the first string with the ring, okay? Mm -hmm. Plug that simultaneously. And then I have second and third twice, okay? So it's one, two, three. Then the melody goes on the first string fret number 10. And you plug again simultaneously with the bass. So you have one, two, three, one, two, three, and the third chord, one, two, three, that's a diminished chord. First string fret number seven, second string fret number six, third string fret number seven. Okay, the bass note is still the sixth open string. So you wanna play the sixth and the first simultaneously, and then the second and third. Okay, so the E major is a little bit more difficult. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then we finish. With the A minor, okay? So after the E, uh, which is this one, the last chord, you're gonna have the, again, another phrase. Okay, and then the A minor chord. So this little phrase, it sounds like that. Uh, it's going to be played like that. You have the sixth open string, and then the first string, okay? We are on the string number one, fret number seven, eight, seven, six, seven. Again, it's chromatic phrase. Okay, beautiful. And we finish with the A minor chord. Now the first position of the A minor chord is this one. First string fret number 12, the second string is fret 10, and the third string is fret 9, okay? It's kind of a power chord, chord, okay? And I'm gonna plug the fifth and first string simultaneously, and then the second and third, okay? So, then I'm going to change position, and I'm gonna have bar chord on the fret 5, and the melody starts on the first string fret 8, okay? Plug that simultaneously with 5th and 1st, and then I plug the 2nd and 3rd. And I finish the melody with just a bar chord, so the melody is on the fret 5. Okay? So... Okay? So... Basically, we have E major and a, a minor. Now, after that, we're gonna move on to the next part, okay? So, we're gonna have outro okay now how does it work here we're gonna change chord we're gonna play an A7 chord okay so once you finish with the A minor we're gonna have as always uh, you know this chromatic scale the chromatic phrase which is played here and you're gonna have the fifth open string first string for number five six five four five Okay, I'm always alternating with the right hand. Sorry. And 
after that we're gonna play an A7, A dominant 7 chord. Okay, this phrase is a little bit different uh, compared to all the stuff that we played so far. So we're gonna play the first and fifth open string, and then the second string fret two, and the third string open simultaneously. Okay, so this is the chord basically. Third open, second string fret two, first open, you pluck the fifth and the first string open, and then the second and third, okay, simultaneously. Twice, okay? So. Now, after that, you're gonna have. So, you have the uh, second string fret number three simultaneously with the fifth open, okay? First open, and you finish with the bar chord on the fret number three. Now, this is an A major chord. And this is a little bit more challenging than the minor shape because you're gonna have the first and second string fret number five, okay? And the third string fret number six, okay? So you're coming from here. And you're gonna have to play this chord. So you're gonna be uh, playing the first and second string fret five and the third string fret six. You wanna pluck the fifth and first simultaneously and then the second and third, okay? So it's a little bit more challenging. Okay, now after that, you have this phrase, which is fifth string open and the first string fret number five, seven, ten, uh, nine, sorry. So it's five, seven, nine. Now one thing that I try to do here, I try to hold down the chord as I'm playing the phrase on 5, 7, 9. It's really stretchy, it's really difficult, and it's something that I do because I have the, uh, the stretch, okay? If you struggle with that, you don't have to do it, okay? So just play the A major, and then you play uh, fret 5, 7, 9, without holding the chord, okay? And we finish on the D minor chord. You already learned this shape. It's a bar chord on the fret number 10, okay? You pluck that simultaneously with the um, fourth string and the first string, okay? And then second and third. So you already know that. You already learned this chord. And then we will have this beautiful phrase finishing on fret number 15, I believe. No, 17. So, you play the chord, then you play the fourth and first simultaneously, then the fret number 12, 13, and fret 17. I like to play with the third finger, it's almost impossible to play with the fourth, uh, so play with the third finger and you let it ring out, okay? So. Um, Coming from A, so... I believe I'm not really playing the bass note on the fret 17, so you just wanna play the fret 17 without the bass. Now after that we're gonna have the outro. Start the melody on the first string fret five, three, one. Okay, and I'm gonna be play and I'm gonna be playing an A minor chord. So that is simple chord, fifth and first open, and the second string fret one and third string fret two. Pluck that simultaneously twice. Okay, then I'm gonna have first open. 2nd string fret 3, 4th string fret 3. So I'm playing this beautiful melody with 6th, okay? So I have the 1st open, 
then the second and fourth string fret number three and then I have second string fret one fourth string fret two so sixth and uh, second open and the fourth string fret two third string fret one simultaneous okay and and uh, and then I finish this beautiful phrase okay second and um, sixth open then the second string fret one second open okay so you have so far a minor And we finish with an A minor arpeggio and a C augmented chord. Okay, um, or there could be an A minor seven, A minor major seven. Okay, so how does it work? You put down the A minor chord and you plug simultaneously the fifth and third. The fourth string, second string, third string, first string, and the second. Okay. So the left hand is pretty simple, it's just a basic A minor chord. You just have to figure it out uh, which strings to pluck. Fifth and third, fourth, second, third, first, second. And A minor major seven. So this is an this is an A minor chord, but with the major seven. So it's a beautiful, creepy chord. Okay, um, and uh, you're gonna have the fifth open string, third string fret five, second string fret five, and the first string fret four. Plug that simultaneously, or you can PGA the chord. So. have it guys take it step by step thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you next time